I can't find my tripod anywhere, so uh, this is pretty much how the video is gonna look right now. Ooh, this is smudgy. <sighs> so today's little episode vlog thing is gonna be me refurbing the white wall. Three years of being here, man, just constant shooting, everything like that, it's just, it's rough. Before I start just ripping everything, I'm gonna show you what is gonna be done and we're gonna go from there. When you used to have shows on the white wall, people would mosh. This is literally just a piece of paper that I take. It's just a giant hole. Now there's no way I'm gonna be able to make this line up again just because in the, in the grand scheme of it, this whole piece, which you can see how bad it is, is not gonna be ever level again. I'm gonna nail it, get it as close as I can, and then we're just gonna mud it, try to get it as clean as possible. There are some parts of this wall that are like not as bad as others. Some are just more like cosmetic stuff, but mainly it's just, there's a bunch of lines that are where it's the warping of the wood that's been here for years has been doing it, and there's just, it's just time to like get it done. Black wall, you can see where the gaff tape is, and it's a, uh, it's pretty rough. Just think about just doing a fresh coat, getting that clean also. I've never used any of this stuff that we're working with. We're using Easy Sand 45. From the videos that I watch, I have 45 minutes to apply this before it becomes really hard. We're gonna see. Anyway, I got tool trays, sanding sponges. I got this instead of the paper stuff. I'm gonna try this, this tape out. Cause the paper tape that we used to line all the original stuff sucked. Obviously you gotta scrapey. I'm about to start ripping up everything because I'm not trying to be here all day. Um, cause I've been a dad all morning and now I gotta be a repairman who is not good at repairing anything. Cause that's Zach. And you've seen that in all these videos. It's Zach, but Zach's busy. RA is pretty rough. Uh, so we can see all the old nails that we kind of did. Yeah, in videos right now, this is a, this has become one of my major headaches is like this right here. I used to shoot the videos for LCL on cut more like this, kind of more on like a, like a, a more like 120 degree versus now 90 degree, just in the middle. Uh, I've just had to use tape. And sadly, you can still see tape in the video. So it's just not as clean as like I would want it to. So fixing this will be just major for my daily business that I do here. I'm gonna nail it back, try to get it as flush as possible, and then I'm gonna try to do mudding all at the same time. So right now I'm just gonna start ripping up everything and then go from there. So we got all the tape up, we got all of the stuff swept up, went ahead and laid all of the, this little clear material. This is where the mud is gonna get on to. If you've ever mud anything, they have this kind of like lace or sometimes paper. I have Brody decided to come help me. You can stop working for a second so I can introduce you. Y'all should definitely go follow Brody's channel. Uh, almost had a thousand subscribers. It would help a lot. Uh, we went ahead and pulled the tape on the black wall and we did the same kind of like coating. Uh, we're almost done. We're almost, we're almost done doing all the like tedious stuff before we mud it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna mess up. Um, at least one bag, cause uh, Zach's not here. Cause Zach's the one that would make it so it worked perfect. But anyway, whoa, it's magic. So now I'm gonna start doing the hole. You can point down, point down the hole. Because the hole is like literally the size of a foot, because that's what did it. The, the thing that people punch holes in the wall and they cover up, I had oh, about yeah. three of them. That's gonna be the first thing we do. First thing, we're gonna mud that, and then after that, uh, we will start working on this. I think I'm gonna let Brody do some. Still gotta paint the whole place after I'm done. And let's uh, see what this mudding's like. I watch YouTube videos, so I just bought some painter things, and apparently you fill it up to like, like maybe like a quarter of this. We're gonna see, we're gonna see for the first one, but apparently you fill it up to like a quarter. 
It said do water first, then we start pouring in the mud, and then we mix it. Yeah. For the second first one, I'm gonna let Brody just fill me. Fill? Fill, it's gonna be very messy. Sure, we don't have our cell phones over here. Probably should have got a straight blade. And the clock starts. The 45 minute clock starts. Okay. Oh, I spilled. Not gonna lie, I think I need more. It's very like super stressful. <laughs> Cause like it having like a timer, like it makes it like so much more stressful. You know, it's starting to look like something. Back in business. Left to right. Side to fucking side. Side to side. Yeah, their video, they made this look way easier. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, because now I'm on a time limit, it's a speed run. The first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna do the big hole. It is, it's so much different when like it's like I'm stressed about it now because I have to do it at a certain time. I'm just trying to cover the holes. The sad part is though, someone easily can step on this and probably put this hole back in. Sorry, I gotta make mac and cheese sounds real quick. But, you know, it's kind of silly, nice. It's just gonna look rough. It always looks rough. But most of the most of the most of the wall today should be pretty easy because it's gonna be like like it's pretty thin. Like we don't have to do too much. We should do the ground glass. Yes, yeah, so we're not stepping all over it. Yeah. Alright, so let's move up. So we're gonna see how this works. Start in the middle, go completely down. This literally one strip is the main part of my current business that has caused me the most issue because it, it eliminates me being able to use this portion of the wall. Even though like, you know, down here there's a hole and stuff, that was also a big portion, but like on camera you can really tell, you can really tell the difference between this wall and that wall just because of there being a breakage in it. We finished the uh, half of it. Brody's loading in the next one. So we're gonna see if Brody has as much trouble as I did. I know basically how to do it since I saw your fuck up last time. That is that is true. So that is a lot. So I think I think you should be good. Okay. It's like making a cake. Oh yeah. So we got the hole done. We got like all the lines kind of done right here. I gotta go up. Gotta do the corner all the way to the end, and then we're gonna do the ground last. Other than that, it looks like we're doing pretty good on time. Uh, it says it takes 45 minutes to harden. Right now, we are not sure if that's real, uh, but we're gonna see. From there, we're gonna determine if we have to do a second coat on some parts, which I feel like we definitely will, just because we need it to be covered. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get on the ladder and go 10 feet in the air. Okay, so I'm back. Hey, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna edit and film this, but I might. Just, we might just be done with it because that's just how it is. Because I, no one wants to watch this mud for an hour. It's white wall, still. So like I said, it's hard to see. But we have we have it all mudded. It's gonna take. They said it says 45 on the bag. I'm gonna say an hour. Uh, we're gonna let that completely dry and then go ahead and start sanding. But in the meantime, I had a package show up which is soundproof panels and i am going to put them up here because it's going to make shows sound better eventually i'm going to hang flags like we do now over here because now we have all these band flags just because it's cool i didn't film the first one because i didn't know if it was going to work but it works it's not perfect and that's that's the motto for LCY. It's not perfect. It is functional and working. I was telling Brody, if the hammer looks like this, that's, that's the good hammer. See how safe that is? It'll come out even? Yeah, that's about good, yeah. Good enough? It looks good. 
Good enough for LCY. On the table. Do it flat. I'm gonna do all of them on the ground. Uh, good thing there's five pieces in one. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six adhesives. I don't know, man. Should I put one in the middle? <laughs> Good. Okay. Round three. First part. Gotta get the middle ones. Oh, please, Jesus, stay up here. We found the way. So some bad news. The 45 minute mud sand thing. It's not dry and it's been hour and a half. I'm going to say bye to Brody. Brody's got to go to the show. Probably come do this tomorrow and just just no one booked the studio. So it's day two. I came probably about four hours ago and most of the mud was actually dry. I was actually surprised and easy mud. If you see this, your product is boo-boo. It is not good. After a full like 13 hours, I still had wet stuff. So I came in here and I did my little little blue fan right there and had to like put it right over that uh, big hole which maybe it was just a, too much but still though i mean if it says it dries in 45 minutes there's no way it should do that i just got done sanding every the last bit of stuff sweeping the last bit of stuff which i didn't film because nobody wants to see me sweep now i'm about to gear up for paint now usually when you see me paint on this channel i usually it's just like doing a floor but since i actually did the wall I have to paint all the wall, all of it, and then the floor. And the floor, like I said on camera, it's the abyss. It is, you know, it's it looks good, but in reality, reality, it looks like this. You know, looks pretty, pretty, like, look at that. It looks pretty rough. I still got, like, all that mess. I still got all that I got to clean up. My vacuum bit the dust. So please watch this video so I can buy a new vacuum. Let's see if I can make a paint can look cinematic. Funny thing is, I just did all that, and that first like going up strut, literally splinter, literally splinter from this. I hate painting. I hate doing this, but I have to. So I painted all the top wall. On camera, it looks really good, which is good. I think right now it's 11:30 at night. Uh, instead of me sitting here and like waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the floor. I'm gonna try to come back tomorrow, bright and early and paint just just the lines like just give the lines that extra coat that way the sessions can like it can still look good for camera and you will never know i am done i have sanded and painted this entire wall i'm still not done i still gotta clean up all the mess i made ah! so i gotta clean up all the powder gotta still get all the dust Put the paint can up. God, it's so crazy just how bright. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'll do it before and after because, man, that, uh, it looks better. <laughs> so, it is currently 12, 14. I'm probably going to get home probably around like 1, 10, 120. So, again, I want to thank everyone for watching these. Uh, people that come to the studio, the Booker Studio, who watches all the videos. And just anyone that just, you know, cares to see us you know make lcy bigger and better every time i mean cause, you know we saw us build a stage the newer studio which we're still renovating a little bit on that but everything just getting bigger and better and we still haven't done a big six vlog so hopefully we'll do a big six vlog once zach is done renovating over there like comment subscribe love you bye here's my hand